Hello, my name is Billy, and I come from a batch of over 5 million eggs that were left in the current. Today, I will be telling you about me, Barracudas. We live in tropical areas in the neuritic and euphotic zone, where it is around 15 to 17 degrees Celsius. And because we are cold-blooded, we have very low temperature tolerance, so when it gets a little bit warm, we must move north. Because of this, we can sometimes even be spotted off the shores of Northern California. Barracudas live for around 10 to 15 years and mature in 700 to 750 days for males and 1,400 to 1,450 for females. Female barracuda are capable of spawning multiple times in the spring and lay anywhere from 5,000 to 5 million eggs. Female barracuda do not care for their eggs and usually just drop them off in the current. We are perfectly suited for our environment because of our long streamlined bodies that allow us to quickly strike at our prey. It also doesn't hurt to be the same color as the sea. We eat by ripping off huge chunks of meat and swimming back and forth to make sure no one steals our prey. Smaller barracuda like to hunt in shallower waters, like small estuaries and grassy mangroves. They also like to hunt in schools to protect each other. Adult barracuda are a bit more adventurous and usually hunt alone in coral reefs or even out in the open ocean. We hunt by hiding and then suddenly strike on unsuspecting prey. We do this by using our powerful fusiform bodies and ray fins to suddenly accelerate and strike at our prey. We also have very sharp teeth that are perfect for ripping out huge chunks of flesh. Adult barracuda like to eat small fish, or my favorite, octopus. We are very high up on the food chain and are tertiary consumers, which means we have no other natural predators except for sharks. Sometimes humans will eat us in steaks and fillets, but this is highly unadvised because we contain high levels of toxins in mercury. This is why humans mostly eat small barracuda who have not had the chance to eat lots of fish and accumulate lots of mercury. Barracuda are extremely hard to catch and are prized by fishermen for fly fishing, but they are usually just released. The future for the barracuda is unclear, although they are not endangered in any way. The most viable route for extinction is overhunting of fish, which would leave barracuda out of food. I predict that the barracuda will not go extinct for at least another 150 years. Whether the barracuda go extinct in 10 or 1,000 years, who can tell? Thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe for more Danco.